Hey guys, how's it going? Joster here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another monitor video review. Just keep in mind that this is not my full review just yet. I just got this monitor by Samsung. This is a QLED monitor. This is a UH750. This is a 4K with quantum dot technology, one millisecond response time and free sync. So I always wanted to see how quantum dot will work on a monitor. And this time I'm going to test it with the Xbox One X on my next video is going to be with a PlayStation 4 Pro and of course also my PC and then maybe I'll do a side by side comparison with my BenQ monitor to see if there's any difference. And by the end after that, I'm going to be doing my full review on this one. So welcome to the channel, guys. Sit back, relax, and let's find out if this monitor is actually worth the money. Let's do this. All right, guys, so now let's jump into the settings for the Xbox One. And I don't know if I mentioned this, but this monitor doesn't support HDR. I think I did mention that. So let's go into the display and sound video output. This has a 4K resolution. Oh, 1440p. 
would this work with 1440p i don't know i'll try it right now video modes over here is you know these are the only options that we have it doesn't have auto low latency it does have um freezing or variable refresh rate it does allow ycc 4 to 2 and of course 4k it doesn't have hdr nor dolby vision let's go into the details and you know it's just going to tell you that it's, it doesn't support hdr but honestly guys let me tell you colors look really good even though this is a tn panel and it doesn't support hdr i still feel like quantum dot does make a difference you know does make a difference so uh i have this one right here it's an 8 bit oh okay so it, this is an 8-bit panel. It doesn't give me the option for a 10-bit panel. All right, it's just, it is what it is. Mm, no, what, what happened? What did I do? Color space, I only have the PC RGB or standard is recommended. That's what I'm using right now. Let me see if I can change this to 1440p. I didn't even think about doing this. Let me see what it make. Would I be 4K TV details? I know I have to turn off 4K if I do this. Well, at least that's how it works on the, uh, with my Samsung TV. Okay, so let's just go into right here, into the information. Okay, yeah, so it's 2560 by 1440p and FreeSync. So yeah, I'm able to choose that resolution. That's cool. That's funny because my 1440p BenQ, it doesn't let me allow me to change this resolution. So in this one, you can do that. All right. So you, if you press that little joystick in the back, it pretty much opens uh, this little menu. Up, you can do the menus. To the left, you can go change source. To the right is picture in picture or picture by picture. And if you press down, you can turn off the monitor. But let's get right into the menus right here on top so the first thing you see is a picture you can change the picture uh, settings you can customize it uh, samsung has this little thing or this uh, feature called samsung magic bright you can customize it and then right here you can cha uh, change the black equalizer the brightness the contrast actually let me just lower the contrast so the way to 90 uh, sharpness I have this one at 60 I noticed that if I reduce sharpness to zero the image gets very very blurry let me see if I can just show you a little bit uh, it gets very blurry so yeah you don't want to do that I think 60 is a sweet spot you know try that if you have this monitor or if you're trying this uh, you can change also the colors but I don't need to change any of, of that also um let me okay let me just go real quick magic angle so this is a tn panel and remember tn panels usually have very bad viewing angles and but they also they are also very responsive so in this case samsung included this magic samsung magic angle this is i have this turned off because honestly i i watch this monitor right in front of me i don't i'm not doing any angle viewing but it's really cool that you have these options so for example this one is called lean back mode i, I don't it's just introduced brightness and this one uh, lean back mode too is even worse it's even brighter it looks just it looks terrible let me see if i stand up Okay, so this is called lean back. I don't, you know what? I'm just looking at different angles and I don't find any any uh, advantage of this. Uh, this is called standing mode. So let me stand up and I'll tell you if it looks, actually, yeah, it looks better. If I'm standing, it looks good. But if I'm sitting down, it just looks dark. You know, I lose a lot of detail. It looks dark. So side mode, this is if you're looking in sideways. Let me see. So I'm looking at straight right now. I'm looking at side mode. Oh yeah, it looks, it just, it doesn't look any uh, color vibrancy. It just remains the same, you know. Um, over here, group view. So I guess group view is probably the best option because you're going to get uh, good viewing angles from anywhere. Let me just stand up real quick. Okay, so you know what? If I'm standing, I do see the color do change. I noticed this already. Um, the colors do change. Let me see if I can show you in the camera. Oh, shoot. Okay. 
So this is like standing right here, guys. You notice how it gets brighter? And then if you are sitting in the middle, it gets like the colors are okay now. So let me just put the camera right where it was. So, uh, I don't know. It's just like, I just turned it off. To be honest, I just turned it off because I feel like I'm in the one position in this monitor. I'm just in front of it. So I don't really need any uh, angle preferences or you can customize it, you know, if you want to. But uh, let me just turn this one off. For, so for the meantime, I just turn it off. Let me adjust the camera real quick. All right, so that is for the different angle options that we have here. If we keep going down, now we're going to have the eye saver mode uh, option. You can, uh, this is one says set to an optimum picture quality suitable for eye relaxation to protect your eyes. And, and then down here we have the game mode. Now game mode off, I have it turned off and you have the option to turn it on or always on. Now, I gotta tell you, one thing I did notice with game mode on, you probably see it right now with the picture on the on the camera, it does change the picture quality. So what happens, I feel like it increases the brightness and it just like, I feel like it, it loses uh, contrast in black level details. So I noticed that once you turn it on, I see some shades right here, some banding, and I don't like that. So uh, I was playing, you know, Call of Duty, and I changed it. I changed this option while I was in the game, and I didn't notice any input lag difference. I didn't notice um, increase of frames per second or anything like that while I was playing with game mode. But I do notice the picture quality; it kind of like degrades for some reason. Um, I don't like. I don't. I, I don't like it, honestly. Or you can leave it always on. To be honest, I just have it turned off, and that's it. But this, you know, you have the option that is up to you. If you prefer game mode on, you have the option right there. So um, okay. So also in the picture settings you can like i said this is my own custom settings but you can always use for the pre uh custom settings that samsung introduces here so this is a standard this is cinema dynamic contrast and basic color to be honest i think cinema looks looks good too cinema and my custom settings i actually are actually pretty close to each other so cinema or custom well, the ones that I just show you right now, they work good, but you can always change to the ones that you prefer. Down here we have picture in picture and picture by picture. I don't really use this unless you are multitasking, you know, opening different tasks or watching videos and reading emails at the same time. On screen display, this is just like for the menus, transparency, language, display time, 20 seconds. And then system right here, this is this monitor does support FreeSync. It doesn't support FreeSync too because this monitor is not HDR, but it does support FreeSync. You have the option of Ultimate or Standard or just to turn it off. Cool. So Echo Saving uh, is, plus, is off. Echo Saving Plus is off. Uh, what is this? PC AV Auto Enlarge Picture. Okay. Display Port. Now this monitor supports has two HDMI ports and one Display Port. The downside I see about this is that one HDMI port, it's 2.0, but the other one is 1.4. So for with one, you can play 4K 60 games, and the other one is only 4K 30 frames per second games. So, or, you know, that's the maximum, that maximum frames per second. So that's, that's something, you know, I wish it would be 2.0, both of them. And also this play port, it only has a 1.1 and a 1.2 display port. So it's not a 1.4. I think the newest one is 1.4A display port. But, uh, you know, this one is limited to a 1.2 maximum. So that's what you're going to get with this monitor. Source detection is an automatic, key acceleration, power in this room, and that's it. Information, this is just give you information of this monitor. Right now it's uh, 3840 by 2160 and it has FreeSync. 
Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this. If you're interested in buying a monitor like this one, it's uh, it's $380 right now. I'm gonna leave a link in the description of this video. That way you guys can go and access more information, more detailed information, and uh, you can also purchase it if you want to. So far, I'm liking the Quantum Dot. I'm impressed how beautiful colors look. Um, I mean, it doesn't have HDR, but I'm really impressed how beautiful this display looks. This is a 4K with quantum dot and it's a TN panel. I'm not a big fan of TN panels, but I just wanted to try this one. In my personal opinion, I think uh, between VA and IPS are my favorites, but between those, I think VA panels are my favorite on top. I, I feel like VA panels are just in between you know, TN and IPS, they have really good contrast. They have, they're becoming very good in response time, very low input lag. And I think colors also look beautiful on VM panels. Uh, it's just like in between of everything. So that is just my opinion. That is just my choice. Let me know in the comments, what do you guys think? All right, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Remember PlayStation 4 Pro, PC, and also comparison. So. Thank you so much for stopping by, guys. I'm Jolster, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Jolster out.